Today, June 8th, is World Oceans Day, which aims to inform the public about the impact of human activities on the seas. It's a familiar and dangerous topic in Singapore, where rising sea levels pose an existential threat to the city-state of six million residents. The government has created a unit of experts who are developing innovative solutions to solve the issue. Our regional correspondents sent this report. It's modest in size, but Singapore is an economic success story. One of the richest countries in the world, it's also one of the most endangered. Under the high emission targets, we may reach 90-something uh, centimeters. And there's some very low probability um, that because we don't understand the Antarctic uh, ice sheets, uh, there may be events that make it rise to actually roughly 1.7 uh, meters higher than it is at the present. Size of, uh, it's the size of me. <laughs> Behind this smile is a very real concern about the future. Torrential rain at high tide, coupled with rising sea levels, have seen the city state hit by devastating flash floods in recent years. As this Straits Times animation shows, water levels could rise by five meters in a worst case scenario and submerge some of Singapore's iconic waterfront. It's very frightening, I mean, very scary for sure. This is one of the most beautiful places and I call it home as well. It uh, uh, creates a kind of a panic and also at the same time it creates a lot of uh, 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 responsibility in us that uh, how do we contribute to avoid this uh, uh, disaster coming in the future, right? But Singapore is fighting back. It's earmarked at least 70 billion euros to address climate change over the next 50 to 100 years. For us, coastal protection is an existential threat because about 30% of Singapore's land is not more than five metres above mean sea level. Almost one third of the island is threatened by floods. The bulk of the solutions covers your vertical sea walls, barrages, tidal gates. Land reclamation projects must be at least four metres above the mean sea level, a metre higher than before. The costs are high. But Singapore is determined to become a pioneer in the fight against the climate crisis. Well, that's all for me, but do stay with us if you can. I'll be back after the short break at half past for another look at the